Birch backs for your needle felting and art projects. Are they worth it? Let's find out. Hey, it's Pam Duthie and it's a Wednesday so it must be another needle felting supplies and equipment reviews. Every Wednesday I make videos like these to help you with your crafty career. So if this is something you're interested in, please don't forget, come back every Wednesday. So if you haven't already seen, in my World of Wool beginner needle felting kit, which I'll link to in the cards up here, we got a single brooch back as part of the kit. I just wanted to review that for you because I know that some some people like to make their crafts into things they can take out and about with them and a brooch is the perfect thing. So like I say in all my videos I'm not sponsored for this, if ever I am I'll let you know. Where I can I include links so that you can find the items. So these little three hole brooch pins are actually really fantastically useful for attaching our needle felting. If we just have a close look at me using them to attach to my brooch that I made using the World of Wool Beginners kit in white, you'll see that because they have the holes in the middle of the actual brooch pin, it's really quite simple to belt a felt fibre across and through the holes, being careful of your needle obviously, and this means that you can attach the brooch pin to your actual piece in the same material that you're using to create the piece, which I think is a bonus. I don't have to go and find a needle and thread or use some glue or something. It's all part of the same piece. You can, of course, use any other method that you want to attach them, but I find them really easy to firmly attach onto the wool. They are lightweight and because of the rotating end that holds the pin in place they are actually fairly secure when you wear them so you're not going to lose your piece. And price wise they are really fairly reasonable at under 30 pence each wherever I've seen them. So if we have a look at how I attached so if we have a look at how I attached the brooch pin to the brooch I created in last week's tutorial, you will see that it's fairly easy to actually just use the fleece you have lying around to felt over the top of the pin really carefully and then remembering where the holes are, you can also felt into the pin so that your fibres are kind of sandwiched all the way around the pin, nice and securely and firmly felted. For me, the for me this is a great lazy solution, it means I don't have to go and find a needle and thread, I don't have to find glue, I don't have to find anything else other than the materials I'm already working with. I just need a needle and a wee bit more fibre, so I find this fantastic. So I will say the pins are really well made, they're a reasonable price at less than 30 pence each. You're not going to lose your piece because they're securely held in place with a rotating end that holds the pin. And as felted pieces are fairly lightweight anyway, they don't have to hold a lot of weight, but these do feel well enough made that they would cope with more weight. So overall, very much approved. If you're looking for a way to attach your felts to your clothing and make a brooch out of them, this is a fantastic way to do it. So I'd completely recommend getting yourself some of these pins and having a go at making some fun brooches. So thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget if this is something you find useful, click on my wee face, come back every Wednesday. If there's any things you would like me to review for you, please don't forget to leave a comment below. Come back every Wednesday and thank you so much for joining me.